Thanks to the counterinsurgency instigated by General Petraeus, after four years of terribly costly mistakes, we have a realistic chance to succeed in helping the forces of political reconciliation prevail in Iraq. And the democratically elected Iraqi government, with a professional and competent Iraqi army, impose its authority throughout the country and defend its borders. We have, my friends, a realistic chance of denying Al-Qaeda any sanctuary in Iraq. We have a realistic chance of leaving behind in Iraq a force for stability and peace in the region, and not a cause for a wider and far more dangerous war. I don't argue against withdrawal because I'm indifferent to war and the suffering inflict it inflicts on too many American families. I hold my position because I hate war. And I know very well and very personally how grievous its wages are. But I know too that we must sometimes pay those wages to avoid paying even higher ones later. I want our soldiers home too, just as quickly as we can bring them back without risking everything they suffered for and burdening them with greater sacrifices in the years ahead. That I will not do. I've spent my life in service to my country, and I will never, never, never risk her security for the sake of my own ambitions. I will defend her and all her freedoms, so help me God.